Hey everybody, what is up? It is T-Dubs, and I am back for another episode of our survival series. Um, so a few things I wanted to say before we get started with this episode. Um, I'm very sorry about the lack of uploads in the, from the past couple of days. I have been really, really busy with uh, sports. I've had lots of baseball, so I haven't been able to really, you know, play or you know, get on the worlds as much and record videos, which that's kind of how it will be for the next little while. And so I'll probably change my schedule from every day to about three times a week. So I'll, I'll probably do every, what, Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of sounds like a plan. That sort of thing. The, they'll still come out on a week or on, sorry, 8 a.m., um, my time so that's 11 or 10 a.m. or the eastern time I don't know what time zone I'm in because I'm not stupid um but yeah so thank you guys for joining me um if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I make a new video um so let's just kind of get started so I've done a little work off camera uh this portal right here I don't know if you guys saw this but this portal um if I go in here real quick this portal right here leads to the area that I'm going to be building the iron farm, which we will not be doing today, but we will do soon. And I've got some, that'll be like the materials chest. And as you can see, our house is just right over there. You probably can't see it, but it's just right by those trees right there. Um, so, yeah. I, and then let me kind of come back into here. And then as you can see, I have this little pathway type of a thing going on right here and if i follow this and i go all the way to where this leads i'll kind of show you guys what i have planned for uh this whole thing um but as you guys know last episode we did make the villager breeder and it was pretty successful it works um i didn't get it completely finished in the episode but I have done a little bit of work off camera and I want to show you guys what I've done but it takes a little while to get to the location uh, where the breeder actually is. I don't know why I made it so far but whatever. <laughs> so it is right here and as you can see we already have a ton of villagers just chilling in this little area but um, if I come, I'm trying to think what the best way to do this, it's probably just coming in. Um, if I kind of come in right through here, uh, we have, I have made the entire villager breeder. It is all up and working, looking good. So if I kind of hop into here, this is kind of our little setup. And how this thing works is... We have four farmers in each place. They each have their own workstation. And then they plant, uh, they grow and replant all of these plants. And then when they have food, they share it with other people. And then everybody breeds. And then we get villagers. And then when those baby villagers come, they don't realize that that's a, sl or a trap door. They walk, they fall straight into the water. Which obviously leads into, if I can get in here, uh, the little kind of base area I have laid out for them right here. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of villagers, and there is a gas right there. Um, I doesn't, It looks like it's burning in lava, but I don't want to go near that thing, so... But yeah, that's kind of what I've done. I haven't, I haven't had much time, as you guys have already told you. I have been really busy with baseball. I have like two to three games every single day. Um, and then this portal right here, it just kind of leads to the portal we were using in the last episode. So kind of in that little birch forest area. So, but yes, um, some things I wanted to talk about. I have quite a bit of series going on at this very moment, and so I think I'm going to try to get some of the series done, like the traditional house series and stuff like that, and I haven't done my Building Diamond City episodes in a while, and I don't know if you guys really enjoy those or not, but I know I sure do, I just haven't had hardly any time to do 
anything. So the new schedule will be a little interesting to get used to, but we'll have to kind of make the most out of what we can do. But in this episode, we are going to be working on transferring those villagers, uh, kind of like making a transfer system. Transferring system, is that? Yeah, I guess that's right. For them, so what we need to do, 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 do um, is kind of grab some basic things we'll need. So there's a cool, the guy that I showed you guys the tutorial in the last episode, um, this is kind of his design. I don't know if he got this design off of somebody else. Uh, it is very possible. But I'll link his, this video in the description below. But I just need cobblestone and um, redstone. So let me grab some of those. Hopefully I have enough cobblestone down here. Yeah, it should be enough. And then we just need redstone. And of course we don't have redstone. So we're going to be kind of working on making this little kind of transport system it works pretty good we don't even have to do anything it's all the minecarts work and all that good stuff but here's our two uh pistons now we need to make repeaters which requires three stone uh so we need to do some of that so we are running out of coal so we'll have to get some more of that. Yeah, we have some in here, but we are running really low. We've just used whoops, quite a bit of that. So another thing that we will need is some powered rails. So let's get out some gold. Uh, let's see if there's any more. No. So I can't remember how to make these, but I'm pretty sure. So we just need sticks and redstone. Perfect. So we need quite a bit of these, probably a little bit more, if I'm being honest. Um, let's see where these things, I might not have enough, oh yeah, I don't have enough gold. Here's some more gold that we can use, and then, boom, that should be enough. Uh, I probably am going to need some more just normal rails. So let's see how do I make those again. Iron, we need lots of iron. So let's see if we have any spare iron that we can use. I We might need to go on a mining trip soon because we do not have, we have kind of run out of materials. Um, there's some iron right there that I could just hurry and grab. So I think that that's what I will actually do. Let's see if anything. Nope. So looks like we are pretty much out of iron. I might be able to find some. So I think I'm just going to go kind of mining um, in some of these areas that I haven't really mined yet. So there's some coal. Might as well grab that so we can make some torches. Uh, sorry, I didn't plan for this to be a mining episode, but I guess you never know what will happen in this Minecraft Let's Play. So, so let's kind of, hopefully we can get some iron down here. Looks like we have already been down here in this cave. So we can maybe kind of go this way. Uh, I'm sure that there's tons of iron that we haven't just kind of passed by I'm trying to think is that a zombie uh-uh I thought I heard one and I another thing I've been looking for quite a bit lately is uh any type of spawner I really want to get just like a skeleton spawner zombie spawner any of those good things because I really need to get XP, and I, I swear that I keep hearing a zombie. Sounds like it's coming just from, like, right here. Yeah, it does, so... Let's see if we can find anything. 
Hopefully we can find a monster spawner, that would be great. Yeah, they are right here. And their skeleton is perfect, we found iron. Exactly what we are looking for. Um, I am hearing lots of monsters. I don't know if that's just because we're near the surface or what it is. But it just sounds like they're right on top of me. Like, I don't know if they're on top of me or below me. Could very well be below me. But it sounds like they're just like right in this direction. Um, let's kind of, I don't know, it, I don't know guys, I, I know you guys could probably hear that, uh, too, I just don't know where, um, they are, so I'm just gonna grab a few more coal, and also my XP level is really low because I died, I didn't, luckily I didn't have anything on me. Um, I was just kind of running through the nether, planning what I was going to do for this episode, and then it just kind of happened, so. Don't think that they're down. Very well could be up. I don't know, where the heck is this? You guys can probably hear it better than I can. Um... I don't know, guys. It literally sounds like it's just like right here. Like, I'm just trying to look for it. It's probably not even a spawner, so I should probably stop worrying about it. Um, yeah. Alright. I don't know. I'll come back here later, dig a little bit more, see what I can find. Oh my gosh, okay, I got... Okay, yep, there it is. It only took me like four hours. I was right behind this wall. Jeez. Okay, well, it looks like there's this little cavern type of thing. Um, I don't know if that's the only zombie. It's not gonna send everything. Oh, it looks like I've been there. Okay, well, looks like we're just, I guess, mining again. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be back in this situation? Um, I only came down here for iron too. This is a whole, like, unexplored, though, like, path area. So that's kind of why I'm wanting to explore this area a little bit, just because we've never seen it before. So, yeah, let's just keep going. I guess we don't, whoop. We don't need to go too far. Oh, hey, buddy. Should have brought a shield or a sword or something. Andy, oh, my goodness. Alright, guys. Um. Oh, okay, the skeleton died. Perfect. Okay, well, we're almost dead now. So, it looks like I have been here... I hate when this happens, but, um, I guess we'll just kind of mine, there's a lot, there's a ton of iron actually right here, so I'll just kind of grab this, I think I'll make this episode a little bit longer today for you guys, just because I haven't made any, like, videos recently, so I'll kind of make this one a little bit longer, just so you guys can, um, kind of you know, have some good content to watch for a little bit, and it looks like we found gold, which we might actually want if we want power rails, but our iron pick is almost out, so we might have to call it there unless we find, like, diamonds or something, hopefully it doesn't run out, okay, so I guess we can just kind of keep coming, I guess I've been, whoa, okay then, well, looks like I've been here already, I did not mean to fall all the way down there. I guess there's just lots of unexplored little, little like, twists and turns and caverns and all that kind of stuff that we haven't explored yet. So, let's go back up to the surface. We got 
We should have enough iron. Yeah, 35. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna want coal though, so we can smelt some things. So I'm just gonna grab some of this. Just here we go, and then a few more. But yeah, it's kind of the plan, guys. Um. You have to let me know in the comments below what series are you guys enjoying the most because helps me out to know what you guys want to see because it makes it easier for me to know what video I want to do because sometimes I don't know what I should do if I should do a survival or a creative one or you know what I should really do so uh, let's find it yeah I think it's just right up here looks like it is nighttime. But that should be okay. So let's just kind of come up out of here. Sorry if I said sleepy. I did not sleep good last night. So my fault. Okay, buddy, you're going to try to kill me and I don't have anything on me. It looks like we had an iron, iron pick on us the whole time. Nice job, Tanner. Okay. Um, let me go to sleep really quick and then we can craft some more of the things we need. I know you don't think of like pistons and stuff, but basically how this thing works is you send off a minecart that goes into a, it leads into the um, area where all the villagers are, and then when you get to there, it kind of like, it picks up the villager. Why did I, why did I grab a redstone torch? I, oh yeah, for the repeaters. Um, Anyways, it picks up the villager, and then when you come back to go get the, or like it comes back, and then it activates a bunch of rails, and then it shoves the guy into the place. It's kind of a confusing pro. It's it's not confusing to build. It just sounds kind of confusing. But it looks like we need this. So what are we missing? We need an activator rail and a detector rail. So we will need a stone pressure plate. Which means, uh, how do you make one of those? Using stone, okay. So looks like we need to cook a little bit more stone. So we can take a few of this. And then just, you know, a couple right in there. Perfect, so let's grab some of this iron. Uh, we can now make our two repeaters. Just like that. So I kind of put all the stuff that we need. Kind of put it up here in this top left corner of my inventory. And then let's... We can. We don't really need this right now. Uh, so what else will we need? We will need more redstone torches, actually. Um, we could do redstone blocks, but redstone torches are cheaper. So let's just do that. Okay, activator rail, boom. And now we just need these. Pressure plate. Um, if I can find where they are. There. And then I think we should be able to make a detector rail. Maybe we need more sticks. Maybe we need more iron. That is in here. Yep, that was it. Okay. Detector rail, boom. We should be pretty good now uh for this so i'm gonna go grab some we might need some actually we might need some obsidian i don't know if you need it but that's just how he has it in the tutorial well not a tutorial he just kind of has it in there so we can go grab some of that which i think that there should be some in that chest in Looks like this guy decided to come and chill out with us. What is up, buddy? Um, alright, so let's... Oops, again, oops, again, oops, again. There it is. Okay. And we'll need our diamond pick, uh, just in case. And then we'll probably actually need more of these. Okay, perfect. So... Uh, let's go get started on this, uh, thing in here. It's not crazy complicated, 
I'll just have to kind of show you guys how it all works, but if we come into this portal right here, which this is the one we will be using, um, it comes in through right here, so we need it to actually come through over here. So we're going to need some netherrack, and we can kind of fill this hole in because I do not want to be falling down. That would be not good. Okay, and then we can just grab a little bit more. And then fill this in. Perfect, okay. So here is what we have to work with. Um, we can clear this out a little bit more above, actually. So well, how, we need, how this needs to work is we have to have... Okay, let me think about this. So, this is confusing. Alright, I think how this works is we take this, we take our activator rail, we stick it here, take our detector rail, stick it here. I just realized we're going to have to break this. That goes down, that goes down another, and we almost just died. Um, okay, let me think. Oh, okay, that was too close. Um, we might have to go down there and build up. Actually, probably is what we will do. Um, well, I don't know. This is kind of scary. We might be able to. Can you make a redstone block without a crafting table? No, you cannot. Do we have enough wood? For a crafting table? No, we do not. Okay. Well then, because we need to add a torch. Okay, yeah, there. So we can build down here. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Now we can add a little base layer down here. Perfect for that. Okay. And then this goes there. Oh, wait, no. This goes there. Boom, boom, and then finally we can put this in here. Sorry that that took, are you kidding me? Oh, it's just got to go up by one more. Okay, I was about to be triggered and because I thought it didn't work for a second, but we are good. So what this does is if uh, someone's in the cart, it just pushes them right off. They'll go right into the um, nether portal, just like that. So let's build two more right here and we'll have to put just a you could put powered rails right here and this will crash into a cactus once we kind of get that going and then what we need to do for this is we can just take some normal rails have these go across and then have this turn and then we can have this turn into here have that go and then that will run over into there great perfect so now is the piston time which this is kind of where it gets confusing well not really but if we put the piston here these go here two more right here actually two two more my bad so this actually needs to go for right now Okay, um, sorry I'm making this, like, really boring for you guys, I just don't really know what to say. <laughs> so this will break, redstone will come, connect to that, so then when that goes off, it'll push, so basically the villager, they get kicked out right here, they land, the minecart passes, activates it, boom, they get pushed right into there, and then we could honestly just have that go like that. So there we go. That is how this works. Um, so now we kind of just need to connect this over, which will kind of suck just because, yeah, it, it'll just suck. So uh, we probably should add some of these uh, power rails. Okay, 
And then some more. We're going to need a lot more um, of these rails. So I think what I might do is finish this whole process off camera because I know you guys don't want to see it. So when I am done with all of this, I will come back. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody, I am back. And as you can see behind me, we got the whole rail system going. I got it going all the way to the other portal, which is over in that direction somewhere. So, But now that we have done that, I'm going to come over here and kind of figure this whole situation out. So how we need to do this, let me take out some obsidian. Um, It looks like we need to take... so. Um, this is confusing. Okay. Yeah, okay, so looks like this dirt block we need to place. Yep. So we'll have an obsidian block here. I don't know if we need to use obsidian, but guy in the video used it and I think we should probably follow that. So and then we go three right here and then we can kinda have uh this come up, I guess. So we'll have that make a turn there here and then one two and three and then we can just put a redstone torch right there to light that up so if i'm not mistaken that should pretty much bring that will pick up the villagers that are inside of this portal which as you guys know this is the one with all of the uh villagers so let me just kind of go through and I can show you guys. So this is this area you guys all know. Um, I don't know how much villages are being produced. It's hard when I'm so far away. I can't get them to all. Um, here, I'll just sleep in this. But I can't get them to all like produce when I'm not far away. When I'm like super far away. So I might have to go AFK here a little bit. In order to actually uh, get quite a bit of villagers responding but for right now let's kind of head back into the nether and we can see if this thing actually works which it should if i'm not mistaken so all our villagers right here probably should eat um, before i die and then let's get rid of this fire okay so let's test this out i'm Hoping it works, but I don't know. Maybe we need to give it a little push. Okay, yes. It did work. So now we got a villager. I probably shouldn't have done that. The villager's gonna... I might have to just kill him. Which sounds stupid, but... Let's see if he makes it all the way back to this place. So it looks like that did work. Um... Alright. Oh yeah, there he goes. Let's see if we can see him. Boom. He went right into the overworld. Uh, like our normal place. So let's go check this out. See what all happened here. So here's our minecart. We can just take this back. And then if we go into this portal. We should have a villager. That is just right in here. Yep, there he is. And then we got pillagers. All right. Um, that is not good. Hopefully they stay away. But there is our little villager, dude. And am I in the right spot? I think I am. Um, I should be. Uh, all right. Cool. Um, fetch me. Don't kill him. Oh, we got a piercing one crossbow. But there it is, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Sorry it's taken a while for me to make it. But I will see you guys in the next episode. And peace out.